大家好，我系陈永恩 Joey Chan， 今日咧就同大家讲下世界新闻啦。美国政府咧就建议佢哋嘅人民咧就唔好戴口罩嘅。咁呢个咧都系咧喺二月份咧，佢哋嘅副总统彭斯咧同广大人民提出嘅呼吁嚟嘅。咁但系近日咧佢又弹出弹入啦。咁啊，特朗普最近咧更加咧为我哋添咗啲笑料嘅。咁啊，今集咧亦都會同大家講下羅斯福號嘅事件。咁啊，羅斯福號咧即係喺太平洋活躍嘅一個美國航空母艦嚟嘅。咁早前咧就發現有確診。咁喺成個處理嘅手法上面咧，就引來國際嘅話疑。咁我哋今集咧都會同大家咧逐一講解嘅。咁啊，開始前大家記得要訂閱我陳永欣 Joey Chan 嘅 YouTube 頻道，記得撳埋旁邊嘅 long 咁你就唔會錯過你任何一條影片噶啦。中意我條影片嘅，記得要讚好同埋留言話俾我聽，亦都希望你可以將影片分享俾身邊更多嘅朋友，等佢哋都知道黃梅同反對派唔想佢哋知道嘅真相。咁啊，美國副總統咧喺二月二十九號啦，佢就接見記者嘅時候就同大家講咧，其實美國嘅風險都係較低啦，咁佢哋嘅大眾咧就唔需要用到咧口罩嘅。咁但係咧，隨住時間嘅轉變啦，咁我哋又見到咧，佢哋美國政府又一再咧。自打嘴巴，咁喺三月三十一號咧，特朗普咧就建議咧，而家喺口罩短缺嘅情況之下咧，竟然同大家講有啲咩辦法咧，就係、是、改用圍巾。咁佢就話咧，點解咧圍巾嘅質地咧就比較厚，佢個效果會比口罩更加好添。咁咁啊，不過咧，美國嘅疾病控制防禦中心咧就唔認同特朗普嘅講法嘅，亦都公開呼籲大家咧就叫大家唔好聽特朗普講嘅。咁我哋都睇一睇，同埋聽一聽咧，美國政府點樣自打嘴巴，同埋點樣咧，再俾專家咧刮一巴嘅。我哋去片。Let me be very clear. The average American does not need to go out and buy a mask. You or me? What, what about the public? Should we be wearing masks out? We've heard lots of different recommendations.、Uh, uh, I don't believe. Look, there's a big thing. A lot of people don't like it. I don't see where it hurts, and it doesn't have to be a mask. It can be a scarf. Scarf. Scarf is highly recommended. What I do see people doing now is using scarves, and I think, in a certain way, depending on the fabric, I think in a certain way, a scarf is better. It's actually better. Just a few fact checks. Fact checks、mm-hmm. to do. I think one is very important. The president continues to give people、uh, medical advice that is dubious at best. In talking today about masks, he said that、uh, in many cases, using a scarf can be better than using an actual FDA-approved mask because he said it's thicker. Now there's still more、uh, study, studying to be done of the effectiveness of that advice. Is not what the CDC says. They have not been proven effective. So if you're considering wearing a scarf over a mask because the president told you to, please don't. 咁啊，希望咧大家唔好聽咗特朗普講咧，就走去搶購圍巾啦。尤其是係嗰啲崇美嗰班啦，契弟弟啦。你知道有好多人咧，佢哋覺得特朗普係萬能專家嚟嘅，講嘅嘢咧就係真理噶啦。陣間聽咗特朗普講咧，走去搶購圍巾咧，咁啊唔單止幫唔到件事啊，仲會添煩、添亂同埋添笑料嘅。咁啊，美國嘅羅斯福號事件發生咩事咧？咁啊，美國羅斯福號咧就係、是。一架航空母艦啦，係取名自咧佢哋之前嘅一個美國總統 Roosevelt， 咁所以咧就係 name after 佢嘅。咁呢個羅斯福號咧就活躍喺西太平洋嘅南海地區嘅，即係其實主要都係用嚟咧係鉛製住中國嘅影響力啦。咁喺早前咧就爆發咗上百名嘅官兵咧集體感染嘅事件嚟嘅。咁啊上百名咧即係大約成個航空母艦咧十個 percent 左右嘅官兵嚟嘅。咁啊，之前咧一直都有講啦，特朗普就救事唔救人。咁喺今次個羅斯福事件咧，其實就見到咧佢哋係救船唔救人嘅。咁啊，經過確診之後咧，佢就停泊咗喺日本關島嘅。咁其實喺七日前咧，誒、呃、雖然喺個艦上出現好多嘅確診數字啦，咁但係咧美國咧仍然係禁止喺船上大約四千名左右嘅官兵咧係落船嘅。咁啊，艦長咧就。寫信去請求美國嘅國防部啦，就俾全艦嘅船員咧，就落船去檢測同埋隔離嘅，去避免嗰個情況惡化啦。咁但係美國嘅國防部咧就拒絕，就話咧呢個未到撤離嘅時候，咁佢就係容許咧輪流去做一個隔離嘅。咁點解唔俾撤咧？咁有好多講法嘅，有啲説法咧就話要確保咧航母咧可以繼續運作啦，去保護嗰只艦隻啦，因為航母咧有好多嘅。軍事機密嘅，咁啊以防外泄咧，所以都要確保到咧個艦就係有一啲船員同埋官員喺入邊嘅，咁就唔俾佢哋去隔離，唔俾佢哋去撤離嘅。
咁但係無論咩原因都好啦，咁都係不顧佢哋嘅官兵嘅生死啦。咁啊，講到性命攸關，但我哋又唔見嗰班所謂嘅人權組織咧出嚟發聲嘅喎，係嘛？反而咧，中西區區議會主席鄭麗瓊違反禁制令，又有煽動仇恨嘅起底言論咧，佢被捕之後，居然咧人權組織會出嚟出聲，你話搞唔搞笑？即係大家可以見到嗰種雙重標準啦，係嘛？咁而且咧。仲有兩件事咧，就同大家揭露咧美國嘅雙重標準，同埋咧呢班黃梅同反對派嘅雙重標準嘅。咁啊，呢個羅斯福號嘅艦長咧，其實喺確診咗之後咧，就發出四葉長嘅信件咧，係公開咧要求支援嘅。咁啊，佢係希望咧係俾羅斯福號可以落船啦。佢就話咧，而家咧並唔係處於即係戰爭啦，咁啊冇必要咧要讓嗰啲官兵咧去送死。咁佢就話咧，航母嘅空間有限啦，即係好似我哋成日都講嗰啲遊輪啦，咁根本就唔可能咧係隔離到一啲患病嘅人嘅，而且咧個病毒咧就好快速咁樣蔓延緊嘅，咁即係每日咧確診嘅數字都喺度增加嘅，佢就希望可以撤離咧艦上嘅所有船員啦，咁去避免咧進一步嘅風險嘅。咁但係呢個信件咧就流出咗，就被傳媒報導，咁啊艦長咧事後咧就被革職嘅。而且咧，亦都有消息咧，連帶出咗嚟啦，就話美國嘅國防部咧，命令佢哋嘅基地啦，同埋啲軍事嘅設施咧，係唔可以將一個確切嘅感染數字咧去外泄嘅，去避免咧俾一啲潛在嘅敵人咧可以有機可乘。咁所以咧，其實美國咧係擺明居馬啦，就去隱瞞而家嗰個確診嘅數字嘅。但我哋又見唔到咧，有黃梅同反對派出嚟聲討嘅喎，係嘛？咁其實咧，我哋經常咧都。見到有呢啲咁嘅雙重標準，所以我都希望咧睇緊片嘅觀眾，你可以將影片分享開去，等更加多嘅人知道咧美國一啲西方國家黃梅同埋反對派咧佢哋嘅雙重標準。咁除咗拆穿咗佢哋雙重標準咧，都想喺度同大家講一講一句潮語，同埋咧一句咧都我覺得幾發人心醒嘅道理嘅。咁啊有個説話咧就叫做海水退潮嘅時候就知道咧邊個係冇著褲游水嘅。咁啊，誒、呃、呢、这個説話我有少少嘅笑話可以同大家分享先嘅。咁其實呢個説話喺邊度聽翻嚟咧，就係、是、阿木頭榮家咧，早兩個禮拜啦，我哋坐低喺度傾偈咁。咁咧，我同佢講多一個説話咧，咁佢就類似安慰我啦。佢就話：，係係咁噶啦。所以話咧，海水退潮嘅時候就知道自己有冇著褲游水噶啦。咁我就聽完之後，定一定覺得好奇怪啊！點解要海水退潮先知道自己有冇著褲咧？乜自己感覺唔到自己有冇著褲嘅咩？咁所以我就問翻阿嘉嘉。咁啊，之後咧佢先糾正翻啦，只知道原來咧係嘅成個原句就係話咧海水退潮嘅時候先知道咧邊個係冇著褲游水嘅。咁啊，所以大家咧千祈唔好搞錯啦。咁啊，話翻轉頭啊，回歸正傳啦，就係、是、我覺得呢個説話咧好有意思，亦都係一個好令人哋有一個好好印象嘅一個比喻嚟嘅。咁我就上網咧睇啦，究竟呢一句説話嘅來由啦。咁啊，其實咧，原來咧就係阿巴菲特嘅一個名言嚟嘅。咁佢佢就本身即係英文譯過嚟啦。佢就話咧 ，After all, you only find out who's swimming naked when the tide goes out。咁一直咧都有黃梅同反對派咧，經常性咧係會去吹捧西方國家點好點好嘅。咁佢又攞西方國家嘅準則嚟當係國際標準咁去量度每一件事啦。咁好啦，而家我哋見到有呢個逆境啦。咁啊，大家又睇下呢班黃梅同反對派。去吹捧嘅西方國家點樣出現一個又一個嘅笑話？嗱，美國咧，正如我哋 Y2K 大樹木頭上一條片講啦，咁佢就想封一個州咧，其實都封唔到嘅。佢各個州咧都係各自為政。咁而家結果咧就係一團糟啦，立立亂啦，個場面係完全控制唔到嘅。咁啊，特朗普咧明明其實咧係口罩唔夠存貨唔夠用嘅，佢就夾硬話咧，大家冇需要戴口罩。咁而家又自打嘴巴啦，就叫大家咧用圍巾咧去代替口罩嘅。咁一啲黃梅同反對派咧，有冇講過呢啲西方國家半句嘅不是咧？而家我哋香港各行各業都蕭條啦，但係嗰班黃梅同反對派咧，仲日日夜夜走去要求西方國家要制裁中國嘅。零八年啊，其實我覺得咧已經係一個好好嘅警示啦。當時一個金融海嘯咧，其實美國已經露咗底噶啦。咁我希望咧，继今次嘅事件之后咧，大家更加认清呢个黄梅同反对派咧，唔想大家知道嘅真相，就系、是、美国根本咧已经唔可以咧当作系一个国际标准去睇每一件事。咁我并唔系喺度咧就讲话想一概而论咁去讲边一个制度系比较好啦，因为从嚟咧我就唔觉得咧呢、这个世界上有任何嘢系最好嘅。
呢、这個世界上咧冇人冇嘢，亦都冇制度咧係完美嘅，只有適唔適合嘅啫。咁我都想大家知道咧，其實我哋唔應該事事都以西方為標準，為嗰把尺去量度每一件事。外國嘅月亮並唔係特別圓嘅，只要你去過外國嘅話，你就會知道噶啦。如果再有人同你講西方國家係最好嘅，我哋要以西方國家為國際標準，或者你都試下。用我頭先所列舉嘅事例去同佢講解翻個真相出嚟，俾佢哋知道，等佢哋咧唔好再沉迷落去。咁今集嘅時間就嚟到呢度啦，希望你中意我為你嘅選材，記得咧要讚好同埋留言話俾我聽你嘅睇法。希望你可以將呢條影片分享開去，等更加多人知道黃梅同反對派唔想大家知道有關美國嘅真相。记得咧要订阅我陈永恩 Joey Chan 嘅 YouTube 频道，揿埋旁边个啷啷，咁你就唔会错过我下一条影片噶啦。记得订阅系免费嘅，订阅一次就可以噶啦。咁我哋下一条片再见，拜拜。睇完呢条片，如果中意嘅话，记得要赞好、留言同埋分享俾身边嘅朋友，仲要订阅埋我陈永恩 Joey Chan 嘅 YouTube 频道，揿埋 See First 隔篱个啷啷，咁你就唔会错过我任何一条短片噶啦。我哋下一条片再见。